What's up guys? Today I'm sharing four of my favorite overnight oat recipes. I love overnight oats for meal prep. They're so convenient. You can make a huge batch and they're eaten cold right out of the fridge for those busy mornings but they can get kind of boring if you're making them the same way all the time. So that's why I love coming up with different combinations for overnight oats. And today I'm sharing my top four. These are my go-to and I love opening my fridge and seeing that I have these ready to go. All of them have protein in them. So not just plain oats. We're making this a macro balanced meal with protein, carbs and fat. So that way it's filling and satisfying and they're all low to moderate calorie ranges. So if you're eating in a calorie deficit, if you're in a weight loss or a fat loss phase, these recipes are going to be perfect for you. The first one that we're going to do is strawberry cheesecake flavor. So let's get started. These are all the ingredients for the strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. I'm going to list out all the exact measurements of each one and just walk through how I'm going to make them step by step. But side note, I wanted to point out these cute little containers. I absolutely love these for my overnight oats. The quality is so good. I got these on Amazon. I will put a link in the description, but they are just the cutest little containers ever. First step is we're going to grab our food scale and weigh out 40 grams of quick oats. I always use quick oats for my overnight oat recipes as I find they expand well and they give the best texture after sitting overnight. For all four of these recipes, I'm going to be using 40 grams, which is the standard half cup serving, but feel free to adjust based on your desired portion. Next, we're going to add 150 grams of plain Greek yogurt, and this is going to give the oats a more creamy texture and also add some protein to this meal. For our liquid, we're going to add one third a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. For these strawberry cheesecake oats, this light cream cheese is a key ingredient for that cheesecake taste, and I'm going to use 25 grams. I'm also going to add one tablespoon of chia seeds for a healthy fat. I love using chia seeds in overnight oats. It makes the texture great when they expand overnight. Adding in a splash of vanilla extract for some added flavor. And next I'm going to take a lemon, cutting it in half and squeezing about one tablespoon of lemon juice into the jar. I'm also going to zest that half of the lemon and add that in. Lemon zest is a critical ingredient in these types of recipes like strawberry cheesecake as it enhances the flavor so much. For some sweetness, I'm also going to add in one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. If you don't use artificial sweeteners, just feel free to sub in regular maple syrup or honey. Give that all a really good mix and make sure to get the oats at the bottom of the container as sometimes they can get stuck in there and then not mix into the liquid. The final step of this recipe is going to be to slice up some strawberries to add on top. I like to cut mine in thin pieces like this, but you can dice them into smaller pieces or however you like. You can also sub in berries, raspberries, blueberries work really well in this recipe. And there it is. There's our first flavor of strawberry cheesecake overnight oats. Gonna let these sit in the fridge overnight and they will be absolutely delicious when we're ready to eat them. The next one that we're doing is a lemon poppy seed. And I'm obsessed with this recipe because I'm like a big lemon poppy seed loaf person. It's one of my favorite treats they have at Starbucks. So I love this variation of overnight oats and the ingredients are so simple. The base of this recipe is the exact same as the previous recipe. So 40 grams of quick oats, 150 grams of plain Greek yogurt, one third cup of unsweetened almond milk, and one tablespoon of chia seeds. For our lemon poppy seed flavor, we're gonna zest half this lemon and add in anywhere from one to two tablespoons of lemon zest. You can add more or less depending on how much you love lemon. I'm also gonna squeeze in about one tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm adding one teaspoon of poppy seeds as well. For sweetness, I'm going to add one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup, and then I'm also going to add in a pinch of sea salt. Give that all a really good mix until it's fully well combined. To 
To finish it off, we're gonna top with some blueberries. I love adding frozen blueberries as they thaw out overnight and they give the recipe some added blueberry juice, but feel free to use fresh or frozen and then top it with just a touch of lemon zest. And there we go, our second lemon poppy seed overnight oat flavor is done. The third one that we're doing is carrot cake overnight oats, which is probably the best way to get your vegetables in in the morning is through carrot cake. So I love this recipe. And again, it's super simple. So again, we're going to start out with the same base as our previous recipe, the 40 grams of quick oats, 150 grams of Greek yogurt, and one third a cup of unsweetened almond milk. We're not gonna add chia seeds to this one because we're gonna be using walnuts as our healthy fat. Gonna add in a dash of vanilla extract for flavor, and I'm gonna add in 20 grams of these raisins. Dried cranberries would also work well here. Next step is to peel and shred our carrot. I use about two tablespoons of shredded carrot for this recipe, but feel free to add more or less depending on your preference. Once that's in, we're gonna move on to our spices, which are cinnamon and nutmeg. I'm not a huge nutmeg fan. I only use a tiny dash as it can be overpowering, but I do love cinnamon, so I add a lot of that one. After that, we're ready to mix it all up until it's well combined. To finish it off, we're gonna add 15 grams of walnuts. You could also sub in pecans for this recipe. I never mix these in with the oats. I just add them on top so they stay nice and crunchy and I mix them in right before I eat it. Also gonna add in one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup for sweetness. And the final step is to top with some additional shredded carrot. And there we have our beautiful carrot cake overnight oats. Our final recipe of the day is going to be vanilla chai overnight oats. I love the smell of chai. For this recipe, I actually made a cup of chai and I stuck it in the fridge for a little bit until it kind of cooled down. And that's gonna act as the base of our recipe rather than using almond milk or any other type of milk. If you love chai or chai lattes, you're gonna love this recipe. Same as our previous recipes, we're gonna add in 40 grams of quick oats. For this vanilla chai flavor, we're going to do a mixture of 100 grams of vanilla Greek yogurt. I'm using the Oikos brand. And then I'm also gonna to add to that 75 grams of plain Greek yogurt. I like mixing the two so I get the best of both worlds. You can just use 175 grams of vanilla Greek yogurt, but it will have more sugar than the plain Greek yogurt. So that's why I like mixing them. As our liquid base, instead of the almond milk, we're gonna add in half a cup of the cool chai that we made earlier. Next, we're gonna add one tablespoon of chia seeds for a healthy fat and to improve the texture of the overnight oats. A dash of vanilla for flavor. And again, for sweetness, we're gonna add one tablespoon of sugar-free maple syrup. Mix that all up until it's well combined. For the final step, I like to add in two of these little cinnamon sticks. It enhances the flavor a bit and it also just makes it look so aesthetically pleasing. How cute is that? Vanilla chai overnight oats, done and ready to go in the fridge. And there it is. We have four amazing overnight oat recipes ready to go. To recap, we have the lemon poppy seed, strawberry cheesecake, the carrot cake, and the vanilla chai. I can't even pick which one's my favorite because they are all so good. I hope you liked this video. If you try any of these, please let me know. I would love to hear feedback if you liked it. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.